There you are. It's been so long since we last saw each other, even though I only graduated two years ago. <laughs> so, shall we get started? Awesome. Now, do you have that form with you? Good. Mm-hmm. Name, age, medical history. Mm. Everything seems to be in order. As per our previous discussions, you'll be helping me with my practicals for this semester. <laughs> I should be thanking you for offering your services. I'll be sure to tell our professors to keep an eye out for you. <laughs> They'll be happy to know that their ace first year has been so very helpful. <laughs> and as a reward for today's session, maybe I can help you out with a little private tutoring? <laughs> You'll need it if you want to keep your place at the top. Not a lot of first-year medical students understand that volunteering for their seniors' practicals gives them a huge advantage over anything else. <laughs> There's just something to be said about having leverage, especially in med. Professors are more lenient towards those who actively participate in these sorts of activities. Now... Don't be nervous. What we'll be doing here today is just a routine medical checkup. It'll help us seniors with building rapport with our future patients, practice our social interaction, proper etiquette while taking histories, asking searching questions and the like. And, as I've said, this will also be to your advantage. Knowing what to expect when you become a second year like me, and so on. And, even though this volunteering thing through uni is just for the first three years, I'd be more than happy to continue privately. <laughs> I've rambled long enough, I think. Are you ready to begin? Good. First, I'll need to take your height and your weight, so would you kindly step on this scale for me? Very good. Okay. Awesome, you can step off now. Now, I need to take your vitals. So, take a seat right here. Very good. Now, this is a pulse oximeter. It clips onto your finger to measure out your O2 saturation and your heart rate. May I? Mm. Such soft hands. Even softer than I imagined. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. While we wait for the device to finish reading, I'll need to take your temperature. Okay, good. There you go. And yep. Ah, and the pulse oximeter is done. It's reading at ninety-nine uh, percent, which is, of course, what we want. <laughs> good job. Yeah. Um, let me take that off for you. And there we go. Ah, ah, no. <laughs> Don't pull your hand away just yet. We're not quite done. I'll have to put the cuff on you. <laughs> Don't sound so shocked. I meant the blood pressure cuff to take your... Mm, blood pressure. <laughs> this goes on your upper arm, so if you don't mind... I'll just trail my hand up your arm, and there we go. Not too tight, is it? Good. Now, 
Stay still. Good. So very obedient. Now, we've taken that. Um, what's next? Ah, uh, I need to do an auscultation to check your lungs. Turn around for... No. <laughs> Don't lift your shirt. I can do that for you. No. No. Shh. No need to panic. I'm just going to... Gently... Take the hem of your shirt and slowly lift it up. My, my. Aren't you delectable? I can already imagine that back arching in pleasure on my touch. <laughs> Shh, don't try to squirm away. Now, the metal will feel cold. Oh! <laughs> Well, I did try to warn you. You'll have to sit still for the auscultation. The stethoscope will allow me to hear your breathing sounds. Now, what I want you to do is to take a slightly deeper breath than normal, and I want you to breathe out through your mouth. So, if you can, with me, breathe in, and out through your mouth. Good. Good. Now, do that for me again a couple more times. In. And out. Good. Good. Well, breathing sounds are, in fact, normal. Now... Turn around and... Uh, no, no. <laughs> Don't pull down your shirt. On the contrary, you'll have to take it off. <sighs> What's with that look? You did volunteer to be here to help me. And for this next part, I need you to take your shirt off. Good. Even better than I imagined. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't cross your arms over your chest. Your body is perfect. I wouldn't have chosen you otherwise. What do I mean? <laughs> Don't be daft. Did you think that this was a mere coincidence? I specifically requested for you to be assigned to me. I've had my sights on you since we were in school together. <laughs> I knew you got into med, and I was so, so proud of you. I even asked some of the professors about you. Being a top student myself, the professors rarely question my motives. They thought it was adorable of me to try and help out such a promising, intelligent first year so badly that they had to pay you with me for this program. <laughs> you really ought to start learning your place, newbie. No one in this school would dare to cross me. Everyone wants to please me. Everyone wants to be friends with me. They all love me. And they would kill to be in your place. You should be thanking me. But that's enough distractions. Next thing I need to do is to check the back of your throat. 
And I'll have to put my hands on your face like this. Gently caressing your cheek with my fingers. Now, open your mouth and say, ah. Mm, good. I can't help but run my fingers down your neck. And your chest. Oh, fuck. Please. Let me kiss you. Fuck. Come here. Your neck, your chest. Oh, fuck. You taste so, so good. I can almost imagine how delicious you must be. What do you mean, what am I doing? You need this. This is for your sake. You need me. Now shut up. Stand up. Quickly. We're going to have... A little bit of fun together. Thank you for listening to today's audio. If you'd like the full 26-minute age-restricted version of this audio, you can find that at my Patreon, patreon.com slash authaudio for the $10 and above tier, if you're listening to this in April or May. I am actually a medical student, and Patreon is what keeps me afloat, so I really appreciate all the support that um, you guys give me, both on Patreon and on YouTube, and I do have to mention um, that, yes, I'm a medical student, and this kind of behavior is fantasy only, just keep that in mind. <laughs> if you have a medical professional that is, you know, whether they're a doctor, nurse, whatever, that is not respecting your consent, your consent and your boundaries, please report it to whatever relevant authority um, at the hospital, at the medical clinic, or um, your health board in your state, locality, country. Just things to keep in mind. <laughs> Thanks for listening. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you around. Bye-bye.